This is what poachers do to Africa's rhinos. The bed of the bull's horn has been cut out. It will never grow back and now he's blind. Very few rhinos survive such brutal attacks. This animal did despite having its breathing tubes exposed, but hundreds of others succumb to horrific injuries. They either bleed to death or they're slaughtered. Rhino horns are prized in Asia, particularly China and Vietnam, where it's thought they have health benefits and are popular in elite circles as gifts. A record 448 rhinos were poached last year in South Africa and now it appears veterinarians may be involved. Poachers gave these rhinos an overdose of a powerful type of morphine called M99. The drug is strictly controlled and mostly in the hands of veterinarians. An M99 antidote ensured these two made it. I think government should just step up and say, whoa, where's the registers for these? Every milligram of those stuff is, must be locked and you must know exactly where it's been used, why it's been used. In the smaller game reserves, poachers use darts because it's quieter and lowers the risk they'll be caught. But they shoot to kill in Kruger National Park, where most of South Africa's rhinos live. At 20,000 square kilometres, the park is huge. The government's sending 150 more troops in to boost its anti-poaching patrols, but conservationists say it's not enough. Uh, the war uh, around rhino conservation is not going to be won or lost in Africa. It's going to be won or lost in Asia. Ultimately, it's uh, a medium to long-term awareness program and making, uh, perhaps adding a stigma to the use of rhino horns. Conservationists say there's no scientific evidence behind the belief in Asia that rhino horns have health benefits, meaning hundreds are dying for nothing. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Cape Town, South Africa.